Hello booktube, my name is Adrian, and welcome to day five of Tis the Season of On. So you may notice that I uh, had a bit of a grim face just now when I said hello. And that is because my husband is on his way home from work to keep our kids. So I can go to the emergency room. Um, I fell and hit my head on the corner of my bookcase. And since then, my one of my pupils is not dilating properly. So my husband's on his way home so I can go to the e-room and make sure I don't have a concussion because while I don't have any other symptoms of a concussion, I'm home alone with two little kids. And we both are of the opinion that it's better I go get checked out and make sure I don't have a concussion and that nothing's wrong with me rather than not go and something be wrong with me and be home alone with two kids when something bad happens. Don't mind them yelling. So, um, yeah, that's how my day is going so far. I'm gonna go to the emergency room here in a minute. Um, the other thing, I guess I can give you an update on my reading while we're here, while I wait for my husband to get here so I can take myself to the emergency room. Um, but last night I finished reading One Day in December by Josie Silver. Um, I ended up finishing this book at about two o'clock in the morning. I stayed up uh, that late to finish it, which is why you may be surprised to hear that my, I think, I think my rating for this is going to be 2.5 stars. I, there was something, a trope or a plot device in this story that happened. I did not appreciate it. I did not approve of it. It really upset me. And throughout this whole book, the main character is basically ignoring the giant robot screaming danger uh, and just ignoring it and going on with her life. Um, it's stuff that's obvious to most people that if most people would have had these thoughts or done these things, it seems like common sense. And it was very frustrating and very annoying. But it was also very engaging, um, which is why I gave it two and a half stars and not two stars. Um, I never give a book one star unless I DNF it. And I gave this book 2.5 because I really was engaged in the story. I didn't feel like I wanted to stop reading. I wanted to keep going. Um, and the story did like drive me along to finishing it. But that's like the only plus. Everything else I didn't love about it. So yeah, I think at the moment my rating is 2.5 stars. We'll see if that changes as I have more time to like stew on it. But that one plot device just rubbed me really, really wrong. So I think my husband's home. So I'm going to go to the emergency room. I'll let you know uh, what I find out. Alright, so I am out of the ER. They let me leave. Um... The, no concussion, no brain bleed or anything like that, which is all great news. Um, they said that uh, my eye issue is actually just a weird abnormality with my eyeballs. So that's an interesting fact. Uh, and now I just have a sore head. But I did get the worst possible news I could get during a readathon. My doctor told me I can't do an over excessive amount of reading that's bad timing <laughs> so I guess I'm probably going to be listening to an audiobook because it's not gonna strain my eyeballs or stress my brain too much if I just listen to the audiobook so that's probably what I'm gonna do so that means that when I get home I'm gonna start uh, listening to the audiobook for Dash and Lily's Book of Dares while I have a uh, a uh, ambiance room going because this was the book I was supposed to read while listening to holiday music and I found a Harry Potter ambiance uh, room that has uh, Christmas music playing in the background so I will uh, actually link that down below for you guys if you want to check that out because uh, I think it's pretty great so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go probably visit my mom because she works at the hospital so I'm gonna go stop in and see her real quick and let her know I'm good and then I will check back in with you guys when I'm settled in at home. Alright, so this is that ambiance room I was telling you about. Um, it's Christmas in Godric Hollow, I believe. Uh, like I said, I will link it down below. But if you can hear, 
there's Christmas music going and it's got like the ambiance thing. So I've got this going and I'm going to listen to some of Dash and Lily's Book of Dares while I listen to this in the background. And uh, then I might take a nap. Um, I was informed by the hospital that I shouldn't uh, sleep unless somebody's going to check on me every two hours. So I uh, texted my husband and told him that I was wanting to take a nap and to call me relentlessly until I answer in two hours. And if I don't answer, to call mom because she gets off work right around that time and she can come and check on me. So <laughs> I'm sure I'll be fine, but I'm just really sleepy. And I'm pretty sure the sleep is not have anything to do with the head injury and everything to do with the fact that I stayed up till 2.30 at night last night. So right, I'm going to uh, listen to this ambiance room and I'm going to read my book. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> You're pretty cute. All right, I'll talk to you guys uh, later on. Hello, BookTube. It is now uh, about 9 o'clock at night on, what is today? Day 6. Today's day 6. It is now 9 o'clock at night on day 6 of Tis the Season of Thon. I have not updated you guys since yesterday when I told you I didn't have a concussion. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and update you guys on what all has been going on uh, with me. Uh, what all has been going on with me, uh, as well as uh, my reading. So what has been going on with me is I do not have a concussion. Uh, I have a massive bruise on the back of my head where I bashed it. Um, and then yesterday night, I was putting my son in the car, got him all buckled in, ready to go. And there is, we have like a gravel driveway out in front of our house. And between the gravel driveway and the road is like a little dip. Like, so it kind of goes like around down and then to the road and so if you're not watching where you're going or you're not careful you can like you know lose your balance on that and so i was walking backwards and i took one too many steps backwards hit that and rolled my ankle and i fell again and the only thought that went through my head when i fell was do not hit your head again and so i did like some sort of action movie roll and uh landed on my hands and knees um, so I landed and have like a huge chunk missing from my knee, uh, where the skin is just like, I have a huge scratch on my knee. And, um, in landing, I, will tell you about this right here in a minute, I landed and poked a couple holes in my hand from the gravel. And this brace I ended up with, because I actually have really bad carpal tunnel in this wrist, and this was also the wrist that took the full weight of my impact when I hit the ground. So I screwed it up pretty bad. It's not broken or anything. Uh, I just, it's just swollen. My carpal tunnel uh, did not appreciate the hit. And so it swelled up really bad. So I just have this brace on so that I can't mess up my wrist anymore while it, while the swelling goes down. So needless to say, yesterday was kind of a rough day for me. Um, so in terms of reading yesterday, I believe I told you I stayed up and finished reading one day in December. And then I ended up reading 160 pages of Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which was the book that I uh, was reading for um, Read a Book with Christmas Music. I read 160 pages of this, and then today we went out to my parents' house for the day. I think I did have a little clip of that where we watched the Heisman Trophy you know, awards show because um, we are actually major Alabama fans. I was born and raised in Alabama, and then... We ended up moving to Illinois. And so I was born and raised in Alabama, so we were big Alabama fans. And Alabama's quarterback uh, was up for the Heisman. So we watched that. Uh, he didn't win, but he, uh, but the guy who did win definitely deserved it. And I believe they said it was actually the closest a runner-up has ever been in points to the winner. So that was pretty cool. And he was the runner-up. Our quarterback was the runner-up. So, And he was a good sport. He's a great guy and a good sport all for everything. Um, but while I was at mom and dad's house today, I finished reading Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. I ended up giving this book four stars. I think that's a star less than I gave it the last time I read it through. I just found the characters a little bit more annoying in this book this time around. I think that's because I've been reading books with much better developed characters lately. So these just didn't stand up, but I still did love it. It was a very cute story and I liked it. So that was this one. And then while I was there, I read the entirety of 
12 Days of Dash and Lily. Uh, this was my uh, book that I was reading to complete the challenge of a short book. This is under 250 pages. I read this entire book today and I ended up giving it 4 out of 5 stars which is the exact same rating I gave it when I read it last time uh, two years ago. And so uh, yeah. I read that. I have not read any of Queen and Air of Air and Darkness today, um, but I'm planning to like just binge through it tomorrow. Like hopefully, hopefully I can finish the entire book tomorrow. Um, as for right now, I am in bed and I'm actually gonna get ready to go jump in the shower so that I can braid my hair before we have to go to church tomorrow. But once I get out of the shower, I'm going to pick up Snow and Love, which is the last book I have on my TBR other than The Queen of Air and Darkness. And I actually did start this already. I started Casey West's story, which is the first one. And now that I've started it, I realized I probably should have like started from the back of the book and read my way forward instead of starting at the front and reading my way back. Because Casey West is my favorite author to read from and so uh the fact that her story's in first in here i'm gonna love it and i'm probably not gonna like the rest of the stories have the potential not to compare as much especially because i don't know anything about the rest of the authors really but yeah so i'm gonna pick up this i've only read about 15 pages and i'm really enjoying it so far so i'm my goal is to read half of this would be the ideal to get through two stories of this so we'll see how much of that i actually get through but i'm gonna go ahead and go jump in the shower now so i will see you guys later So this is the end of my Tis the Season Thon vlog. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up uh, this what all I read this week in this clip. Uh, this vlog, as you can tell, is the last three days of the readathon. Um, after I hit my head, I just wasn't really feeling up to vlogging all that much. So I filmed a couple of clips of things we did over the weekend, but really didn't update you guys all that much. So I'm going to go ahead and just tell you guys what I ended up reading. So I ended up finishing all but one of the books that was on my TBR. The one book that I did not finish was Snow and Love. I actually ended up only reading one short story out of this. I ended up reading um, The Last Story Grounded by Nick Stone. This book, I ended up just not having the time to sit down and read this, but I decided to read from the back of the book forward because Casey West's story is the first one in here and I have heard that it is most people's favorites and Casey West is also my favorite author, so I knew that it was going to be my favorite more than likely. So I really didn't want to read it first and then have it like taint the rest of them because it they may not live up to the standards that I set for Casey West so or the standards that were placed by Casey West as she is my favorite author so I ended up starting at the back I read Nick Stone's story which I believe I ended up giving three out of five stars it was okay it wasn't great but it was okay my daughter's pulling all the books off her book off of her bookcase so that is all I read out of this. However, I did finish all of the rest of the books on my TBR. I ended up finishing Dash and Lily's Book of Dares and The 12 Days of Dash and Lily, both of them in the same day. I gave Dash and Lily's Book of Dares four stars and I gave the 12 Days of Dash and Lily three stars. So I read both of those. Then I also, you saw I read The Christmas Sisters and I gave that one four out of five stars as well. I really enjoyed that one. I then also read One Day in December by Josie Silver and gave that two stars. I did not like that book at all. And I stayed up till like 2.30 in the morning to finish that book and I didn't like it at all. And I do have a full review for that on Goodreads right now, um, kind of explaining why I didn't like it in a non-spoiler way. Um, but I did not like that book at all. It, was not good in my opinion. I just didn't like it. Um, and then the last book that I read was Queen of Air and Darkness, which is up on the top of my book case. I don't feel like getting it down, but I did read the entirety of this book. I gave it five out of five stars. I absolutely loved it. Thought it was a great way to wrap up the trilogy and kind of usher this story into like the continuation of this world because the tagline for this book, if you do not know, was uh, everything changes um or everything's about to change and when you get to the end of the book dang it they weren't just a kidding 
everything changes and it makes for a huge, huge deal. And I really did enjoy that. So uh, yeah, five out of five stars for Queen of Air and Darkness. That is what I read for Tis the Season-a-thon. Um, I'm sorry that this last vlog doesn't have a whole lot of content, but like I said, after I fell, I wasn't feeling very well and like my head's fine. <laughs> no concussion, nothing like that. Uh, my wrist is finally better. It's actually been about a week since I fell, so <laughs> whoops. Um, so my wrist is finally better. It still hurts a little bit, but not as bad as it did. Overall, I'm fine. I did catch a cold from my children, so that's fun. That's why I probably sound a little funky. <laughs> Hi. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm fine overall. We're good, but I just didn't really feel up to vlogging after that because it was, that day just didn't go well for me. I it was just not a fun day. I really enjoyed this readathon. I thought it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed being able to participate in some of the sprints on Twitter and everything like that. So if you guys participated in this readathon, I would love to know how you did. If you met all of the goals that you set for yourself or if you vlogged it, I'd love to see it because I love watching readathon vlogs. So if you vlogged it, let me know down below and I will go check it out. But that is all I have for this video today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.